Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this full guide, I will be showing you how to downgrade from iOS 16 back to iOS 15 without losing data. You can use this tutorial on all the compatible devices on any iOS 16 version. Currently, this iPhone 8 Plus is on iOS 16 as you can check it out here. First things first, connect your device via USB cable and open iTunes. Now simply click backup now. You will see the progress bar running up above. The time it takes depends on the data on your device. So let this process fully complete. All right, the backup for this device is complete. Now simply open this website, ipsw.me. Select your device, iPhone or iPad. I'm using iPhone. Now choose your device. So I am using iPhone 8 Plus. So for these devices, there are multiple variants. For example, there are two variants, iPhone 8 Plus Global and iPhone 8 Plus GSM. So if you are confused, you have to simply open iTunes and just keep left clicking on the serial number and you will see model identifier. It is an iPhone 10 comma 2. You can just check out by selecting your model. So if I select iPhone 8 Plus Global, you can see the model identifier also called as iPhone 10 comma 2. So meaning we are downloading the right file for this device. Likewise, you can do for your device and variant. Now the latest version currently signed is iOS 15.5 at the time of making this video. Scroll down and download this IPSW to your computer. I have already downloaded this file. Now again head to iTunes. If you are using a Windows computer, press and hold the shift key. And if you are using Mac OS, press and hold the options key. And click restore iPhone. Select the IPSW that you have downloaded. You will see this message that iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 15 and will verify the restore with Apple. Simply click restore. This will start extracting the firmware. Now the iPhone is being downgraded or restored back to iOS 15. Let this restore process complete. So the iPhone has been restored to factory settings successfully. Alright, so now the iPhone is on iOS 15. Now set up your iPhone normally and reach the home screen. Alright, now simply head to your desktop. Press Windows plus R. You have to go to this path. Percentage, capital user profile, percentage, backslash, app, data. Click OK. Now go to roaming. Apple computer. Mobile sync. Backup. Now if you have multiple backups here, you can sort them out using date and time. I have the only one. Open it. Scroll all the way down. You will see this file info.blist, right click, open with notepad, maximize, control F and find 16 here. So we have only one entry, just turn 16 to 15. Now simply close it and save. Please don't worry if the backup now button and the restore backup button is grayed out. After modifying the info.plist, close iTunes and reopen it. And these buttons will re-enable. Now simply click restore backup. I have this only backup. But if you have multiple backups, just sort them out using the time and date. Click restore. You will see that your iPhone will now restore from the backup and on your iPhone or iPad screen, you will see restore in progress. This can take time depending on the size of the backup. Okay guys, it is done. Now your iPhone will restart. You will still see a bar running on your device. Please be patient. Now you will see restore completed on your device. 